actually seen it with your own eyes that in a week's time, someone's skin can rejuvenate and be rewinded, rewinded back into like a young uh, age. I, I wish that were true. Um, <laughs> no, we can rewind skin cells that we grow. Uh, and we're now doing what are called skin organoids, uh, which are models for skin. And then we'll move on if that all works to turning back the clock in the skin as well. You gotta um, let me right know once that happens. Uh, yeah, well, we need to figure out a better way of doing it. Right now it's a gene therapy. And I think a gene therapy for beauty would be extreme. Uh, but the biological principles are still there, that the body has a memory of youth that we can tap into by turning on a combination of just three genes. And it should be possible to do that with uh, small molecules that you could put into a cream one day. Wonderful. I hope it happens before I get a lot of wrinkles. Everybody would be, I put up on my Instagram and I was like, hey, I'm going to talk to him. You know, uh, one of the, uh, the, the front runners as far as uh, anti-aging and aging in general, what questions you have? And you might not be surprised by this question. The number one question that came back was from a lot of women and it said, what to put on their face to, to remove lines. Yeah. I have a feeling I know what your answer is going to be around this. It probably has something to do with besides just putting something on your face. But with the look of aging, what, uh, what helps with that? Uh, yeah, well, so I, I have a fair number of, uh, of, of VIP clients who are mm -hmm. asking me these same questions. The, the good news is that if you do what I, what I do, mm -hmm. um, probably what's happening is your whole body will, will stay healthier and younger and your mm -hmm. skin is a very large organ, if not the largest. Mm -hmm. um, so you can start on the inside. You don't need to slather yourself with stuff. Yep. Um, I don't know. You, you can judge me. I'm 51. So I haven't got a gray hair yet. Um, and I don't think I've lost much either. So, you know, that's an, what we call an N of one clinical trial, not exactly helpful, but I do believe that you should start on the inside um, and you can apply things from the outside. There are, I mean, the, the easiest thing to do is just avoid the sun. Um, I grew up in Australia, unfortunately, when it was fashionable to get burnt, that's gonna come back to haunt me. So avoid, avoid the sun, um, take vitamin D, that's also very good long-term for health and the skin. Mm -hmm. um, there's uh, you know, retinol, which actually does work. Uh, I would say that's something that a lot of people already know. Uh, there are creams that are purported to raise NAD levels. NAD is a molecule we work on in my lab. And that's the fuel for these sirtuins that I've talked about, these longevity genes. And actually, actually, as we get older, the NAD levels in the skin go, go down by about twofold. So in my 50s, I'm 51, as I said, I would have roughly half the levels as I did when I was 20. So maybe you can raise the levels of NAD in the skin with a cream. Uh, instead, I, I take a, a pill that raises my NAD levels. I talk about it in the book, page 304, if you want to learn all that stuff. Um, I think it's possible to slow aging in the skin. Um, you know, and then it, if that doesn't work, there's always uh, the other cosmetic stuff. But, uh, you know, I think you want to start early in life. You know, once you're in your 30s, when I, when I started, it's a long-term program. You cannot expect to start at 45 and instantly reverse the effects. Yeah, I had a feeling you were going to say it started from the inside out. There's not a whole lot of <clears throat> magic effects that actually takes, but people want the fix all. They want to, they just want to fix it and look young immediately. But um, I'm curious with, with that and in, in, with skin in general, um, what do you know about red light therapy uh, around the skin and, and producing mitochondria as well? Yeah, I, I think it's got legs as a scientist. I tried to extend the lifespan of nematode worms with this red light in my lab. It didn't work, but I haven't given up, given up on it yet. Um, I think there's something to the red light therapy. There's some reasonable data on, uh, what is it, hair growth uh, from this. So probably there's something going on, but it's really not well studied. We need a lot more. Uh, I've seen that you can buy these red lights um, someone even sent me one, to be honest, I haven't used it much, but, uh, I think that there's, there's good reason to think that certain wavelengths could trigger your body into a hormesis effect. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I, I think well, where I stand on that is we need more research, but I doubt that it's doing harm. Right. 
So I'm curious because you said something, I want to get really clear on it. You said avoid the sun. Now, do you mean completely avoid the sun or do you mean, you know, avoid getting burned? Because a lot of people are going to be like, he said, don't go out. So I'm not going to go out. Yeah. But I've also heard that being having at least some sunlight triggers, you know, turns off like between turns on or off like 300 switches inside of your brain and your body and all yeah. of this stuff. So, so with sunlight and getting the vitamin D from sunlight, but also taking it um, as you recommended, um, what is what is your recommendation around sunlight? Yeah, well, <clears throat> disclaimer, I don't recommend stuff, but what I can tell you is that- right. No recommendations. Well, what does the science say around sunlight? <laughs> yeah, thank you, Rob. Thanks for bringing that up. Maybe I, I misspoke. What I meant to say was, uh, don't stay in the sun long enough for there to be irreversible damage. So okay. a little bit of sunlight is good. I'm, I walk out, I haven't been out that much because it's middle of winter here in Boston. Mm -hmm. But yeah, some sunshine is fine, but but don't do it for you know more. It depends on the UV, but I would these days because I'm you know pasty as much as a you know a vampire would be. I would I don't want to spend more than half an hour out there in the sun. That's enough. But think of it as a competition between DNA damage. What's happening with the sunlight is your DNA gets crosslinked and your body has to come in and take out those crosslinks and put a new piece of DNA in. And your body takes time to do that. And the older you get, the worse it gets, the, the slower it is. And it's a balance of damage, repair, damage, repair. And if you don't repair it, you get mutations and epigenetic changes too, don't forget. Mm -hmm. So what I like to do is, I, you know, get a bit of sun. It's healthy for sure. You get a bit of a, a tanning effect too. But if you stay red, you've overdone it. Uh, your body right. can't cope and it's got inflammation. So yeah, limit it. But, you know, I, I wasn't trying to say live in your basement for the rest of your life. I'm eager to get out. This uh, pandemic has been pretty uh, harsh on, on yeah, myself yeah. and all of us. Yeah.